This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Apologies if I sound a little bit croaky. I've only gone and got fucking COVID, haven't I? So I've been sat at home feeling sorry for myself. Also feeling sorry for myself that we've had no list until the list dropped. So obviously we've got a list now. I've seen very, very little of it. The only things I'm aware of at the moment are Verte Anaconda. Uh, someone mentioned something about Change of Heart, so I can only assume that's off, and Desires it too. I haven't seen anything else, so it should be quite interesting for me to see. Unfortunately, as well, I'm going to the websites, none of them are loading the updated list. However, I have managed to get the images off Facebook, so I was going to do one of them interactive things where we go through the list. Slightly less fun to do it this way, but I'm going to go from banned all the way up to limited. So uh, I'm going to be doing that one by one. Hopefully, uh, I'm just going to bring it up here. Um, <clears throat> and then I'll just show them on screen as I go through them, which again, a bit unfortunate because I really wanted to do one of them really cool live reactions, but don't have that privilege at the moment. So, uh, if you see me looking down this way, that's exactly what I'm looking at. So we start off with our band cards. What's on that? Okay. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I think all of these are absolutely fine. Uh, we start off with Verte Anaconda. Uh, absolutely needs to be on there. It's obviously the picture. So, yeah, we're going to start with that. Verte Anaconda, yeah, absolutely needed to go. Uh, I think it was always going to limit future card design, and they seem to like fusions, fusioning from decks, so being able to access those fusion spells to then fusion from deck, from your extra deck. Kind of a bit silly. And, yeah, probably a bit overdue that this got hit anyway. Uh, I'm surprised it actually got hit now. I thought maybe they'd wait a little bit longer, but there we go. Uh, prank Kids, Meow Meow Moo. Uh, not really surprised they needed to hit Prank Kids in some way. Well, the best way of doing that is not really sure. Guess this probably fills the void. And Aurora Don, well, yeah, it's fucking cards bullshit and just... Yeah, there's no healthy uses for it, so it doesn't need to be in the game. But let's move on to our limited section. It looked like there was a lot on here, by the way. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, okay, sure. So we start off with Jet Synchron back. Um, well, Jet Synchron to one, sorry. Red Rose to one. Yeah, makes sense. Yatagarasu to one. Interesting choice. Um, a lot of people have been calling for this for a while, and yeah, I don't think it makes any difference. I don't think anyone's going to play it. It's one of them cool novelty cards. I'm sure someone like Aaron Henman will decide to use in a duel. Like Mystic Mine or something like that, but there you go. Um, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Halka Fibrax to one. Not really sure what that achieves, but sure. Uh, Monkey Board to one is interesting. I think that's absolutely fine. Uh, Shooting Riser Dragon to one. Uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. Uh, Change of Heart to one. Interesting, but I don't think it breaks the game in any conceivable way. I think it's a pretty cool, powerful card. I always like to see these old ones come back, but that's pretty cool. Time Seal, I don't think makes a damn bit of difference. I think we've all covered this point. It's absolutely moot. Um, yeah, time seal's not going to do anything. So, really, really interesting list here, actually, so far, again, on the limits. I really like that they've peeled off a load of banned cards. It just injects a bit of fresh life into the game. Be interesting to see what else they've touched on the list. Okay, so on to our semi-limits here. So, we start off with Dynamite Knight. Um, yeah, I've been calling for this for a while. I don't think it does anything. The deck is dead. Um, Cyber Angel Ben 10. Sure, I guess it injects a bit of life for, uh, Drytron and things like that. Uh, yeah, it's whatever. Uh, Tanky to two, I think is fine. Again, it just gives a breath of life to some other decks and maybe injects a little something to format. Pot Desires to two, I'm quite happy with this because I love this card. So really nice to see it back at two. Trickstar Night Sage is one that I've been calling to come off for a while. So nice to see it now at two. Maybe a little bit more playable. I still don't think Trickstar is going to do anything really in the game unless something crazy has happened on the other limits that I don't know about. But yeah, this seems fine to me. Uh, and Wall of Revealing Light, yeah, nobody's fucking playing that card. Uh, and then to our final page, is it going to be crazy? Okay, Unlimbs. Night Assailant. Uh, yeah, that's absolutely fine. It's not going to do anything. Yeah, there's a little loop, but no one really cares. Uh, Trish. Yeah, that's fine. Again, no one's going to play multiple copies. Mirage Stallio. That's absolutely fine. Gives Salad players a bone. Uh, I don't think it really makes a difference. A Hero Lives. That's really nice, again, because it'll encourage people to actually play heroes for once. Uh, Salad Great Circle. Yep, Salad. Now fully playable again, basically. I think everything's off the list for them. Could be interesting to see if they come back. Uh, and Scapegoat, yeah. Again, absolutely fine. I 
don't think too many people are going to see much play with it. I think the extra deck is just way too tight in the modern game to encompass all that extra space for basically getting a freeling four. Um, it may see some play in some decks I've got the room. So overall, the list, interesting. Uh, didn't really hit as much as I would have liked. We didn't take care of any of the adventurer issues, which is a problem. Scythe still hasn't been hit, so that's kind of sucky and actually now that i think about it for all of these changes that are for the positive it actually feels like a lot was left off that could really have been addressed um i do like these large lists when they do them but to not see things like uh artifact site on there is kind of a little bit sad but here we are Look, a few decks got a bone that needed to get a bone. It was nice that we've got some extra stuff being injected in here. I just really hope that the upcoming product will really inject some new life into this. Again, we've got some problematic decks that looks like are going to go absolutely nowhere. And it really doesn't change all that much about the format. So, a bit of a shame in that sense, but is what it is. I guess we'll wait and see whether things actually change with the upcoming stuff. So, that's what it was, guys. Just wanted to drop in and do my quick review as I go through the list with you all. I'm sure I'll take a little bit more time to digest it and make some decisions as well about what I want to play going forward as well. So hopefully you guys uh, have enjoyed the video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, what you think they've missed out on. I'm sure there'll be plenty to say about what they could have hit better and maybe even some cards that they really missed bringing off, although I think largely most people agree that the majority of these seem absolutely fine. Thanks again for checking in, guys. If you haven't already, you should most definitely hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.